Hello everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. We are we are beginning with uh, a new chapter. We in the previous lecture we have completed WTO chapter. We have completed money supply also. We saw trips. We saw trips plus yes or no. Uh, we also saw uh, how developed countries are pushing Singapore issues on developing countries. Doha development agenda is for developing countries. Uh, we also saw rules of origin. We also saw. Uh, how special and differential treatment can help in gaining access? What is GSP, general generalized system of preferences? Okay, we saw all of that in money supply. We saw M1, M2, M3, M4. I hope you remember that M1 is what M0 plus plus currency, currency and plus savings or plus demand deposits. M2 is M1 plus savings account with post office. M3 is M1 plus Time deposits with banks and M4 is M3 plus all. all. Okay, what is the formula for money multiplier? Does anyone of you remember what is the formula for money multiplier? It is money supply divided by monetary base. M is MS upon MD. Money supply upon monetary base. Okay, so we will see a few MCQs. Then we will move on to World Bank and IMF very quickly. That also will get over within half an hour I am hoping. Last time we discussed these, so we'll continue. Iske baad. we discussed these last time. So pay attention to this question. 87. These are all latest questions, huh? 19, 19, 20, 20, and all. So I've included all questions. See, this is direct. Huh? This is direct. This is current affairs based question. So you might not know. The, ex the purpose of this exercise is to try to attempt those questions which we don't know. You, you haven't heard about this. Okay. Try to attempt. Does any statement sound bizarre to you? Does any statement sound logical to you? Just try to think and tell. It's okay if you might not have an idea about this. Okay. The Reserve Bank of India's recent directives relating to storage, popularly known as data dictator command, the payment systems provide that. They shall ensure that entire data relating to payment systems operated. This is very true. You don't know this, but this is very true. They shall ensure that systems are owned and operated by public sector enterprises. So if you know the budget announcement, we know that we are going for disinvestment. Yes or no? We are going for privatization. So how can this be only public sector enterprises? Okay, so two gone, two gone, two gone, and only three remain or one remain. And we know one is true. I am telling you because you have not read, but it is true. They shall submit the consolidated system report to the CAG at the end of calendar year. Now imagine payment system providers are so many. Anyone, Paytm and all these are all payment system providers. Yes or no? If everyone tries to report to CAG, then CAG will have so many reports with it. So the answer is A1 only. But okay, now it will not make sense to discuss this question because you don't know this. Focus on this question. This is important. It's a very good question. Trust me, you will appreciate the um, what you say. The conceptual aspect of this question. Okay. This is live exam question. Don't expect very easy questions. It becomes easy only when you have understanding. Think. We have just discussed money multiplied in the last lecture. What is the answer? Increase in CRR. We know that increase in ratio reduces the money multiplier. Increase in statutory liquidity. See, A and C. Even if you don't know the answer, you know they are same options. Okay? This is basic understanding. A and C to I hope you are getting this. A and C, 
gets over like this because they are same they cannot be one of them right increase in the population of the country might be true because the more money more people will have more money but they should be in the banking system yes or no you remember the trail which we did so increase in the banking habit of the population very conceptual now imagine you don't know the concept of money multiplier how will you solve this imagine so for this you need to know what is crr what is slr what is increase in crr and slr mean and what is money multiplier then only you will be able to answer this concepts only concepts are asked okay next b bravo next my favorite question favorite test question read this take time take 2 minutes and tell me the answer are latest 2020 see i always tell ki conceptual questions come this is any we have discussed 50 questions till date hardly 3 4 questions were factual everything is conceptual What is the answer? Demand deposit is what current account, savings account. Is it a part of money supply? Yes, of course. You are withdrawing it. What is happening here? Demand deposit se nikal ke you have cash. So how increase? But it is also reducing from your bank, na? Take your time. So, twenty twenty question. Now, do you think the answer to this is found in books? It cannot be. Abhi it might be after this paper. the keyword here is immediate always remember long term mein to bahut kuch ho sakta hai because long term mein you will withdraw in cash you will pay to someone that guy will deposit it and it will give out as loan so long term mein it will increase by more than 1 lakh we know that credit creation the keyword is immediate effect kya hoga what is immediate effect think 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 any idea will it reduce by 1 lakh i'll give you another hint think m1 money supply is shown by m1 m2 m3 m4 i hope you know this they are money aggregates think about m1 and then read the question and think about the answer i'm giving you time because i want you to think What is M one? Currency in circulation plus demand deposit. You are withdrawing from demand deposit. 
but going in currency in circulation what is happening here money supply doesn't change only the form of money is changing na is money supply in the economy changing no unless you keep it and do not bank it in the long term it might reduce it might increase if you bank it it will increase if you keep it in, under your pillow in the long term it will reduce yes or no immediate effect kya hoga nothing it is like withdrawing from your atm account see we do this every day yes or no we withdraw money from our accounts every day you swipe your card in the atm you put your card in the atm take out 1000 rupees what is happening to the money supply nothing what you do with the money supply us pe depend karta hai what will happen but that is in the medium to long term not in short term immediately to definitely not immediately is unchanged are you getting this, this is one of the difficult questions upsc has asked so m1 m1 is nothing but currency in circulation plus demand deposit and other things so demand deposit mein minus ho raha hai but yahan aa raha hai na plus ho raha hai na currency mein to plus ho raha hai you will use that money so m1 what is it, what is the effect on m1 nothing answer is to leave it unchanged right this is the logic logical answer this is the conceptual answer upsc answer ke has not come yet might be 1% probability that upsc will give some different answer using some different logic but i am still hanging on the word immediate effect theek okay? hai might be might be 1% chance if it gives a different answer we'll discuss it later on when the answer key comes it will come around see this i hope you are able to know the words at least kya hota hai debt right treasury bills they are asking The answer is very simple. I'll show you. Its answer D. Is. Answer is nobody knows. There are various interpretations of this question. Financial, non-financial, मतलब क्या? So there one interpretation says that financial means debt of financial sector, which means that households will not come, credit cards and T-bills will come. हो सकता है. One interpretation and one interpretation is all is financial only. ना after all money ही तो involved है. so the answer is not known yet everyone has different interpretations when upsc official answer key will come that time we'll see and i i have told you you know out of 10 questions one question will be there which will be very vague or which will be uh, the question will be vague or the answer would be vague or something would be wrong with it this is that question of 2020 paper where we don't know what is the answer okay you can argue you can say ki, oh this can be there this can be there but whatever upsc will give the answer that will be the final answer. we don't know what is the answer here because there are different interpretations financial non financial matlab kya see the word debt and financial go hand in hand na because debt is financial it is money but what about like when they say non financial debt even if you google you will not find an answer right see this Do we know district central cooperative banks have we done DCCB? Yes. This is again 2020. So many questions from banking and money and all. क्या लगता है इज वन करेक्ट माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट आर दे आस्किंग इन वन इन टर्म्स ऑफ शॉर्ट टर्म क्रेडिट डिलीवरी टू द एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर डीसीसीबी डिलीवर मोर क्रेडिट इन कंपैरिजन टू एससीबी एंड आरआरबीज आई हैव डिस्कस दिस इन द लेक्चर कि इट 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 इज नॉट ट्रू शेड्यूल्ड कमर्शियल बैंक्स हैव ब्रांचेस ऑलमोस्ट एवरीवेयर and plus rrb bhi diya hai so both se zyada dcc bhi kaise ho sakta hai this is the district central cooperative bank theek hai i told you scheduled commercial banks has the highest ratio of agricultural credit in the country theek hai so one is not true 
Second, one of the most important functions is to provide funds to PACs. Yes, because I told you district central, then niche PACs are there. I hope you remember three tier structure: state cooperative bank, district central cooperative banks, and PACs. So DCCBs give funds to PACs. So unme chalta rehta. Answer is B. Sir, आपने clearly नहीं बोला था. That is how UPSC frames questions. कि you might know, you might not know, but you have to take a logical guess. You have to take a logical guess that one of the important functions. See the way the sentence is structured. It is not saying that the only function is that, or DCCB never gives or only gives this. One of the most important functions of DCCB is to provide funds to PACs. Yes, PACs function under. I told you, na three tier structure hota hai. This state, district, and PACs. So PACs function under DCCB. So DCCBs will help PACs with funds. Yes or no? So B two only. What about this? We have discussed this, sir. Huh? Have we discussed interest coverage ratio? I hope you remember. We have discussed all these things. Do you remember what is interest coverage ratio? No. Have we discussed this? When you go to banks to take a loan. And banks will see whether you are credit worthy or not. Banks will see whether you will be able to service or not. So it is. It helps in understanding the present risk of a firm that a bank is going to give loan to. Yes. ठीक है. One is there. Two gets eliminated. Yes or no? One is right. Now the two only gets eliminated. It helps in evaluating the emerging risk of a firm that a bank is going. Emerging risk. We don't know. Might be. The higher a borrowing firm's level of interest coverage ratio, the worse its ability to service is. That's true or false? Use the formula and tell me. True or false? The higher the borrowing firm's level of interest coverage ratio, the worse is its ability to service is. That true or false? False. Absolutely false. The higher a borrowing firm's level of coverage ratio, which means either interest is very low or profit is very high, the better its ability. So the worse its ability, nahi hoga. This is false. This is absolutely false. Three gone. Three gone. Answer is one and two only. Even if you don't know two, answer is one and two only. Ha! Huh. If the statement was one only and one and two only, then this would have been a difficult question. In the last lecture, I told you when we did MCQs, I told you that question options make the question difficult. So imagine one and two only is the option, and instead of two, one only is the option. B. This is difficult because two you don't know emerging risk, but obviously emerging risk also you will come to know because you will not demand only this year's uh, interest coverage ratio. You will cover last five years. Me, kitna has been his profit. So if you see that profit is reducing, which means his ratio is increasing or going to increase in the future. So emerging risk also you will come to know. So one and two, but without knowing two only, without knowing two also you can solve this question very easily. I hope this is very clear. Now do you see the entire question was based on one and three? Two was irrelevant. Did you notice that two was irrelevant? One, you need to know it is right. Three, you need to know it is wrong. Okay? When you know three, when you know one and three, you will be able to get to the answer. Now look at what is one and three. This is the very concept of the question, and this is the very concept of the reading. Ki what does it show? Yes or no? So this one and three is one and the same thing. Concept-based question. 
I told you, UPSC checks concepts in economics. Might not be true for science and tech. It will check facts and all. History may there is facts. You know, years and all are asked which happened before. But economics may very few questions check facts. Maximum question checks concept. Now imagine if you know interest coverage ratio very well. This is a very easy question. I hope you remember the 20-20-20-20 rule. In that 20, this will come. But if you are confused, it will come in middle 20. If you don't know interest coverage ratio, or if you think this is ulta, see, this is your application of brain. Nobody can teach you this interpretation. This is your application of basic understanding. Profit upon interest, if you remember the ratio, earnings upon interest, profit upon interest, whatever you want to call it. You should know the higher it is, the better it is. And this is exactly ulta, the higher ratio, the worse it is. So this is not true. This nobody can teach you. This is your own understanding. Okay, I hope you are getting this. Okay, every word, every concept will not be taught to you. You have to read and understand a lot of things on your own. Basics will be taught. No doubt about it. Did I teach you interest coverage ratio? Yes. Did we discuss ki badega, kam hoga, it will be better? Okay, this question can be solved. Did I teach you one more ratio along with interest coverage ratio? I have taught you one more ratio called as debt coverage ratio. Kya hota hai debt coverage ratio mein? What is in debt coverage ratio? Interest mein installment is also added. So, baki this remains same, same but interest mein installment is also added. That is debt coverage. So, I will not be surprised if in 2021 it asks debt coverage ratio. We have seen that in 15 it asks CRR, in 16 it asks SLR, in 17 it asks MCLR. Now, 20 may it ask interest coverage, 21 may it might ask debt coverage ratio. Very simple. Is it clear? Okay, concepts. See, again I am telling you, don't be under the, every one of you watching this, don't be under the false assurance of confidence. Be confident, but don't be falsely confident. Okay, and hence I told you, always stay in touch with UPSC papers. You should know what you are preparing for. You should know what questions are asked. You should know what questions have been asked in the past 5, 8, 10 years. You should be doing that. Classes test, our class test, any other class test, any website test, anything. That is all okay. That is important but secondary. Primary ye hai. This is primary. Do you agree with this? Do you understand this? Unless you practice these questions over and over again. It is not that you have seen the answer to this and this. Now you will never see these questions. It's a nahi hai. So in the paper, let's say in newspaper tomorrow, some more new ratio comes, which I might have not taught, which nobody, which is not there in the book, but which is there in the newspaper. You have to realize that yeah, ratios are asked by UPSC. And what is asked about ratio? Concept is asked, higher, lower is asked, yes or no. And uh, the main objective is also asked. So when you read the new ratio, you have to prepare all these things in five lines, not more than that. You don't have to do PhD. Are they asking PhD in this? Ki what are the parameters of interest? What are the parameters of profit? That's a name. That is all commerce. That is all financial management. This is general economics. Samja? So please revise 100 times. I am telling you, you have to revise 100 times. And this is especially applicable for art and culture and history. Unless you revise those subjects very, very thoroughly, nahi hoga sir. Trust me, nahi hoga. It is not easy. Why do you think maximum people of number fail to clear prelims? It is because of questions like this. I am telling you, if you were here, 50 students were here, at least 30 would have made this, made an error in this question, despite knowing the concept. Again, UPSC is asking, and imagine, now we are comfortable, but in UPSC, you get one minute to solve this question. To read and solve, you have to get, you will you'll get one minute in UPSC. Imagine the time pressure, imagine the pressure that it is UPSC, it is the final exam, prelims, and in that pressure, you have to solve these kind of questions. Samja? Hence, it is not easy, but it is not tough. It is manageable depending on your revision, depending on your study. And everyone finds it difficult. Na? If you are able to solve this today, then you won't need to revise. Na? But everyone finds it difficult. If you make this mistake now, you will not make this mistake in the exam. But if you don't make this mistake now, if you don't see UPSC past papers, they say, Chal rahe, you are revising books. Again, I am telling you, come out of the school and college system of learning. Very thoroughly, I am telling you, very honestly, I am telling you, come out of the school and college system. This is a system or this is an exam where books are only helping you, but not guaranteeing you anything. Okay, in college, mein books are read, finished, exam done, 90%, 95%, topper in the class. Here, nothing like that. Today, they are asking interest coverage ratio. Tomorrow, they will ask a very weird ratio, which we have not heard about. You should be comfortable in trying to make sense of the question. 
Are you getting this? In in UPSC, I always say that you should always love being uncomfortable. Normally, we love being comfortable. Na, ha, aaram se chal rahe. In UPSC, you should love being uncomfortable. Hence, what you know, honestly, my friend, I learned that from my friend. What I used to do is I used to read the chapter in detail, read the subject in detail, and then practice MCQs. My friend used to do ulta. He used to just read the mcqs not past year but other classes without reading the subject and trying to guess whether this is the answer or not the answer and all and i learned that ability from him because in upsc there will be various questions which you might have not seen anywhere the content you don't know but just see the question and try whether you can find the answer or not like we do in kbc when kbc is on tv you might not know an answer to a question but you try to guess at the 2008 olympics what they had asked kya hoga Same you have to do, yeah, without preparing. That will, that will remove the fear of MCQs out of you. Trust me. Feb, March, April, March, April, May. Three months of MC, next year, three months before prelims, you will be filled with fear of MCQs. Bored, dull, like it. Trust me, bored, dull, like it. But that will be removed or that will go away if you start facing unknown MCQs from today. Ha, unknown, yeah, okay, yeah, wrong, yeah, so wrong, yeah. You don't know it already. You don't know. It. You are in negative already. But try to come out of it without money. ठीक है? And when you are revising it, learn to apply it by always seeing at the past year papers. We have seen MCLR वाला question also. In MCLR also they had asked exactly the hitting point, the concept. It will ensure in transparent interest rate to the customers or a loan वाला interest. ठीक है? Very important to be uncomfortable. Embrace the discomfort. Embrace the discomfort. This is going to be there till the date of your interview. When your interview is over, when you walk out of that room in UPSC Bhavan, that is when you will finally be ki ha, ठीक है, I want to be comfortable. Till that point, you have to be uncomfortable. You have to love the discomfort. You have to see there is a feeling. थोड़ा आता है, थोड़ा नहीं आता. Little I know, little I don't know. Oh, I should have revised. Oh, I have read this, but I am not able to solve. Oh, I made a silly mistake. Oh, I don't remember the keyword in writing. This is all discomfort, and this will be there till the end. Your job is to study, revise, study, revise. That's it. Don't you don't have to think about anything else, right? Answer is A. क्या ये? 2018 question. Again, this is very current affairs based question. ठीक है So you might not know this. You might not know A. It appears in the newspaper. So A is wrong. Steadily increase नहीं हुआ है. See, I told you ना nothing happens steadily in trends. It always fluctuates. This is also not steadily increased. and this is very true this was the major 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 news of 2017 2018 so don't worry about it the point is this is very easy statement this is not so easy statement you will get such questions which is a mix of statement so answer is b but that is not relevant here the answer is not relevant here the type of question is relevant ki this is a very major current affair and this is something which you might have to think about which will appear in newspaper this used to be there in newspaper but You don't remember all these things on the back of your mind very easily, you know. So that makes it a difficult question, but okay, it is manageable question. We'll see a very. Can I hear you? Hang on. See this taxation question. I hope you remember some taxation basics. क्या है आंसर इज बी वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन वेरी इजी दे कुड हैव मेड दिस डिफिकल्ट बाय आस्किंग व्हाट इज बीपीएस एग्जैक्टली दे डिडंट आस्क व्हाट इज बीपीएस दे जस्ट आस्क कि क्या बेसिक क्या है दे डिडंट आस्क इनसाइड डिटेल्स ऑफ बीपीएस 2016 वाज वन ऑफ द इजीएस्ट पेपर्स इन प्रीलिम्स हिस्ट्री द कट ऑफ वेंट अप टू 116117 दैट वाज द कट ऑफ ठीक है सो डोंट वरी ऐसे क्वेश्चन विल 
rarely come what is this ha ah, very good question i like this question 2017 very nice question what is the answer see in upsc will not get this much time you have to read think quickly 10 15 seconds and mark it and move ahead क्या लगता है वॉट डू यू थिंक इज स्टेटमेंट वन राइट इज स्टेटमेंट वन राइट स्टेटमेंट वन इज राइट एवरी वन नोज ये दैट इज द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ इट इससे क्या होता है दिस गोज अवे ड्रास्टिकली रेड्यूस द करंट अकाउंट डेफिसिट एंड एनेबल टू इंक्रीज इन फॉरन एक्सचेंज रिजर्व ड्रास्टिकली रेड्यूस हो जाएगा इज इट पॉसिबल नॉट पॉसिबल it will enormously increase the growth and size of economy and enable it to overtake china in the near future oh gst ki wajah se all these things will happen simple theek hai chalo even if you don't know second you don't know current account deficit this is wrong this is very absurd statement three gone three gone answer is one only very easy question they could have made this difficult but very easy question see kitna easy question hai ठीक है दिस सेकेंड एंड थर्ड आर एक्सट्रीम स्टेटमेंट एंड आर अनरिलेटेड टू जीएसटी हेंस वी आर एलिमिनेटिंग दिस यू डोंट दिस यू डोंट वरी अबाउट दिस वॉज अ कोर कोर करंट अफेयर बेस्ड क्वेश्चन आई होप यू नो डी टी डबल ए डबल टैक्स बस बाकी जस्ट इग्नोर दिस This was a core current affair question. All these asked in 2018, na? So, so many questions come from economics. Chalo, kya hai iska? This is very weird question. Hai na? No idea wala question hai. Okay, this is a no idea wala question. So normally, the concept of GST is that. on raw products there is no gst or exempt from gst and uh, on processed products there is gst that is the main concept but okay this was a one off question so is a processed and canned and this processed word this processed word gives it away but it's okay if you don't know this to be very honest if you have no idea just leave the question it's okay this is a tough question तो प्रोसेस थ्री है थ्री गॉन थ्री गॉन आंसर इज वन और वन टू एंड फोर न्यूज पेपर डू नॉट है जीएसटी सी दे आर सेइंग एग्जाम अंडर जीएसटी एग्जाम मतलब दे आर एट जीरो रेट आई डिस्टिंग इट फॉर यू जीरो एंड एग्जाम गुड्स विच आर नॉट कवर्ड अंडर जीएसटी यूर दे आर आस्किंग जनरली कि क्या है ठीक है आर यू गेटिंग दिस सो द आंसर सो See, it's okay if you don't know this. The answer to this question, it is, it is, it is fine. I mean, हर एक चीज पता होता है. It is not possible that you know each and every one of the things, right? So, canned wala, I am saying he might not be there. So, if you reach A and C somewhere, you have to mark one of it. A cereal grains is definitely not there, but chicken eggs, cooked and newspaper advertising material, ठीक. Okay. so uh, the answer is c 1 2 4 but not that important theek hai i think iske aage nahi hai okay samjha so questions are 
questions are manageable questions are easy the only thing is that you have to learn them by heart right so let us begin let us begin with a new chapter i hope you have i hope you appreciate the mcqs which we have done uh, we have seen almost all the mcqs from monetary policy fiscal policy and tax chapter so i hope things are a bit clear now let us start with another chapter and uh, let us let us look at the twins twins okay so this chapter is called bretton woods institution sir what is this कौन से लकड़ियों की बात कर रहे हो ब्रिटेन वुड्स इंस्टीट्यूशन ठीक है सो वेन इट वर्ल्ड वॉर टू एंड अगेन वी आर बैक टू वर्ल्ड वॉर टू वेन इट वर्ल्ड वॉर टू एंड आफ्टर दैट वॉट हैपन आफ्टर टू थ्री इयर्स डब्ल्यू टी ओ के मीन टू बींग आफ्टर दैट वॉर इकोनॉमीज वर डिस्ट्रॉइड इकोनॉमीज वर डिस्ट्रॉइड ड्यू टू वॉर both developed and developing countries faced massive losses so they said that we should have certain organizations to control the world economic order theek hai to control the world economic order we should have certain organizations we should have certain um, what do we say certain uh, we should have banks bank we should have a central bank of the world we should have so for example if any country needs money there should be a global organization see today we know there are various organizations but they gave me to being in earlier era 1940s 50s and all hai na so they said ki there should be two organizations or you know there should be some organizations who will look after the economy of the world wto looks after the trade of the world trade not the economy overall right so for example finance ministry looks after the economy but commerce ministry looks after the trade in india similarly at the world level they said ki we should have certain organizations and those are called as bretton woods institution now why bretton woods because people met high level dignitaries met in bretton woods in usa it is in uh, usa new england in usa okay not uk new england is in usa vermont and uh, massachusetts ke area mein in that area uh, there is uh, there is new england in that there is new hampshire and in that there is bretton woods so they met there and they and two organizations were established which were the two organizations sir one organization was called as IBRD, one organization was IMF. Okay, IMF. I hope you know the full form. International Monetary Fund. international bank for reconstruction and development theek hai we'll come back to this again this happened in 1944 1945 immediately after world war ended they met ki they said ki we need to take care of the finances we need to take care of the world economics we need to take care of the global economies we need to help the the poor countries we need to reverse the damage is caused by these uh, wars and all theek hai is wto member of un no these both are these both are sp 
स्पेशलाइज्ड एजेंसीज ऑफ यूएन ठीक है स्पेशलाइज्ड एजेंसीज ऑफ यूएन राइट लेट अस टॉक अबाउट आईएमएफ फर्स्ट वेरी क्विकली वील गो इट्स अ स्मॉल चैप्टर लेट अस टॉक अबाउट आईएमएफ फर्स्ट इट इज नोन एज इंटरनेशनल मॉनेटरी फंड व्हाट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ आरबीआई इन इंडिया is the objective of rbi to ensure macroeconomic stability is the objective of rbi to ensure monetary stability in india the objective of imf is to ensure monetary stability in the world theek hai ensure global monetary stability so think from that angle na it is it is an it is like rbi it is concerned with monetary stability of the world it is not concerned with day to day operations it is concerned with monetary stability of the world global monetary stability theek hai i hope you are getting this ensure global monetary stability right this is one uh secondly most important think about imf as an organization which is concerned with economic health of any country it is not concerned ki who is borrowing how much who is lending how much but it is concerned with if the borrowing is not repaid then imf becomes concerned yes or no theek hai sir is india founder member of imf yes founder member we are also founder so ye yahi pe likh do na india okay india founding member see 1944 before independence also we went into uh, we were the founding members theek hai imf is headquartered at what do you think is it geneva no it is at washington us paise ki baat aati hai tab washington us theek hai this is very pre centric chapter and for mains you will get questions in ir international relations because that you will have to study in depth and for those who are having pol science optional you will study these institutions in your optional also theek hai ha so what are the objectives main objective is to ensure monetary stability and what are the uh, what are the secondary objectives i'll just read out you tell whether you agree or not to secure international monetary cooperation these are all written in books so don't worry yes or no to secure international monetary cooperation secondly for balanced growth of trade wo monetary cooperation ke sath hai thirdly exchange rate stability barabar exchange rate should not be volatile fourthly to help countries who are facing a balance of payment crisis do you understand balance of payment crisis theek hai sovereign debt crisis balance of payment crisis did india face a balance of payment crisis yes 1991 mein we faced balance of payment crisis remember i told you this we borrowed money from imf remember i told you we went to imf imf said ki we will not give you money because you are already having so much of loan uh, you don't remember this i i hope nahi nahi but it was done in earlier lecture not in the last lecture it was done in the first two lectures so we went to imf we have balance of payment crisis it was called balance of payment crisis i told you pv narasimha rao was the prime minister manmohan singh was the finance minister we went to imf remember that time we were in india now we are at imf ठीक है सो वी वेंट टू आईएमएफ एंड वी टुक लोन रिमेंबर आई टोल्ड यू आईएमएफ आल्सो पुट वेरियस कंडीशंस इंडिया शुड ओपन अप इंडिया शुड यूज एलपीजी रिफॉर्म्स ठीक है यू डोंट रिमेंबर यू हैव टू रिवाइज ठीक है सो नाउ वी आर वी नाउ वी आर इन आईएमएफ राइट एंड दिस इंडिया फेस बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट क्राइसिस यस इंडिया फेस बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट क्राइसिस इन 1991 राइट वन वन ट्रिविया क्वेश्चन Uh, or one one bit of information very important in polity when you will study you, there is a chapter on emergencies okay national emergency and all you can declare national emergency there are three types of emergencies one is national emergency one is presidential rule and third is financial emergency okay in polity we will learn i'm not getting into detail the funny thing is this question comes very often ki did india have a finance did india declare a financial emergency in 1991 the answer is no Despite having a balance of payment crisis, we did not declare a financial emergency in 1991. ठीक है, as per policy, as per polity, as per presidential notification, we did not declare a. Yes, we had problems, 
but we did not declare a financial emergency so india has never had a financial emergency till date but india has had balance of payment crisis in 1991 you will learn this in quality but just it is related isliye maine socha i will tell you theek hai so i hope you know what is imf now head kon hai who is the head of imf like so there is a managing director of imf there is a managing director but main body is or main power is associated with body mean board 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 of governors theek hai board of governors board of governors have the main power uh, board of governors is the highest decision making body who went in ministerial conference of wto commerce minister who will go here look at the word also finance minister or rbi governor can also go governor hai imf is like rbi only so from india from every country finance minister or rbi governor goes or they form part of board of governors they also have one alternate governor for every country who is again a deputy finance minister or minister of state for finance or deputy governor of rbi samjha they have the highest power so let's say fm or governor rbi from india will go so every country will send two two people yes or no plus one assist uh, one alternate one theek hai uske niche aata hai executive board obviously they will take the key decisions and they will implement these decisions the executive board very simple very very easy theek hai to advise board of governors to advise board of governors there are two committees they give advice is there advice binding no sorry but they are expert committees so one is called as imfc international monetary financial committee ठीक है imfc International Monetary and Financial Committee and second is the Development Committee. These advise the Board of Governors. ठीक है. Let us speak about uh, IMFC, right? IMFC के बारे में बात करते हैं. So these meet twice a year. Once or twice a year they meet and they discuss की वर्ल्ड में ये हो रहा है चाय पे चर्चा दे डू एंड एवरीथिंग दे मीट दे हैव अ जॉइंट मीटिंग विथ आई बी आर डी वंस अयर ऑल्सो इसके बारे में तो वी आर येट टू स्पीक ना ठीक है दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टूडे इट इज नोन एज वर्ल्ड बैंक बट आई विल टेल यू वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन आई बी आर डी एंड वर्ल्ड बैंक आई विल टेल यू सो दे हैव so they have one joint meeting with world bank theek okay, hai i am writing world bank here because upsc will ask world bank only it will not ask ibrd one joint meeting with world bank theek okay? hai so when they have one joint meeting with world bank uh, and they meet once or twice so let us speak about imfc international monetary financial committee imfc advises the board of governors on the international this thing imfc appoints a lot of or has a lot of academicians has a lot of experts economists economic experts theek okay? hai luckily india has been sending a lot of economists to imfc because uh, we are there uh, in fact raguram rajan i hope you know dr raguram rajan ex governor of rbi also served on imf advisory body so there are a lot of uh, indians also theek okay? hai now there are three things that imf does what are the three things that imf does imf does three things what are those three things one it lends to countries in bop crisis the countries who are having bop crisis imf gives them loan lends are not grants lends i hope you know loan and grant different lends to bop affected countries we are we are treating bop as a disease hai na in economics bop is a disease bop crisis is a disease second second what they do surveillance dekhte kaun masti kar raha hai who is 
who is going to have a balance of payment crisis see after crisis happened it is difficult to salvage them out but before that who we surveil the policy so they they demand reports from all the countries ki rbi will submit a report to imf ki this is our monetary policy this is our monetary policy committee this is our inflation targeting yes or no every country's monetary policy they will surveil they will review they will learn from it and thirdly very important thirdly they will fight against these are the three objectives of imf ठीक है मेंस एंड प्रीलिम्स बोथ आई एम डूइंग साइमिलटेनियसली सो मेंस में यू हैव टू राइट दिस प्रीलिम्स में यू हैव टू राइट यस और नो फाइट अगेंस्ट मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग एंड टेररिस्ट फाइनेंसिंग ठीक है फाइट अगेंस्ट मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग फाइट अगेंस्ट टेररिस्ट फाइनेंसिंग दीज ऑल दीज आर द थ्री जॉब्स व्हाट आर द थ्री जॉब्स आई एम डस वन लेंड्स टू कंट्रीज इन बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट क्राइसिस टू surveillance of monetary policies or any other policies three helps fight against terrorist financing and money laundering i hope you know what is money laundering money laundering is uh, using illegal money black money basically you read that in your internal security point money laundering prevention of money laundering is there in your syllabus i hope you know gs3 has a lot of things ipr money laundering all of that is also there in the syllabus theek okay? hai i think it is point number 18 or 19 राइट मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग से ये हो गया नाउ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट डिस्कशन वी आर गोइंग टू डू सो सी आईएमएफ है ना आईएमएफ है उसमें बहुत सारे कंट्रीज हैं ठीक है नाउ आर ऑल कंट्रीज इकोनॉमी साइज सेम और डिफरेंट 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 ठीक है सो If now IMF को चलाना है, we want to run IMF as an organization, so we have to take contributions from our members and whoever will require, we will give that money to him. ठीक है, IMF works as a cooperative society basically. Every member contributes and those who are in need, they can borrow. बराबर? Do you think the borrowing would be the same for every country or different for every country? It would be different because the size of economies are different. Do you think the lending eligibility or borrowing eligibility of every country would be same or different? it would be different depending on the need depending on the size of the economy right so if usa needs a loan it might be a high amount because its economy is huge for uh, but uh, an island nation or something like cuba or something very small would require a very small amount theek hai so so every 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 country has a quota this word is very important this is not that quota of wto theek hai and not that quota of rajasthan also That is K O T A, ठीक है? So now the amount you have to contribute to IMF, yearly contribution, whatever, the amount you have to contribute to the IMF depends on quota. So if we have a high quota, we will have to contribute more. So quota पे three things are dependent. How much to contribute to IMF? ठीक है? How much loan can we borrow? Also depends on quota, yes or no? See, normally it is a multiple of quota. So if your quota is let's say two lakh, uh, two billion, uh, two million dollars, you can borrow up to two times of that. So four million dollars, so you can borrow. Isa, okay. And most important, which means, see this, yes or no? Yehi toh hai ultimate. Voting power is depending on your quota. So the size of your economy will determine your quota. Will determining all these three things. How much to contribute? और सब्सक्राइब कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर सब्सक्रिप्शन भी बोलते हैं हाउ मच इज योर वोटिंग पावर हाउ मच लोन टू बी बोरो ठीक है इंडिया इज द सो हु वुड बी द लार्जेस्ट हु हैज द लार्जेस्ट कोटा व्हाट डू यू थिंक यूएसए इंडिया इज द थर्टीन लार्जेस्ट कोटा ठीक है वी रैंक थर्टीन एंड वी हैव अ शेयर होल्डिंग ऑफ टू पॉइंट फोर फोर परसेंट करेंटली इट माइट चेंज ठीक है इंडिया एज अ शेयर USA 13 नहीं है इंडिया 13th है USA इज फर्स्ट एंड वी हैव अ शेयर होल्डिंग ऑफ 2.44 परसेंट सो वी कैन इन्फ्लुएंस द डिसीजन ऑफ आई एम एफ बाई टू पॉइंट फोर फोर परसेंट इज इट क्लियर इज इट अंडरस्टूड ठीक है नाउ दिस कोटा इज वॉट डू थिंक विल इट बी डिनोमिनेटेड इन रुपीज पाउंड डॉलर येन वॉट डिनोमिनेशन क्या होगा कोटा का कि ठीक है यू आर अ बिग कंट्री यू हैव टू गिव दिस मच यू हैव टू गिव टू बिलियन बट वॉट What would be the currency? This quota 
is determined or this quota is denominated in something called as I hope you remember special drawing rights. Did we discuss this something? Thoda baat kiya tha ispe? Special drawing rights, SDRs. In balance of payment chapter, we discuss special drawing rights, SDRs. Okay? This is this is a unit of IMF. Unit. Hai. So 2 lakh SDRs have to be given. Sir, ye SDR kya hota? SDR is nothing but a basket of currencies. Sare currency ko saath mein leke, basket bana ke, ek SDR bana. Which are the currencies which are there in the basket? Obviously, dollar is there. Thik hai? Euro hai. Right? Ek tisra currency hai. Thik hai? Then, Japanese yen hai. And then, last mein pound hai. Thik hai? These were the four currencies up to 2017. In 2016-17, new, new currency was added, which is, this is Y, U, A, N, Yuan, or Renminbi. So, this is the currency of US, A. Eh? This is the currency of what? EU. This is the currency of what? China. This is the currency of what? Japan. And this is UK. Okay? Okay? So, these five currencies combined together make SDR depending on the weights. And the order in which I have written, this has the highest weight, then this has Second highest, third highest, fourth highest, fifth highest. Right? Depending on the economy size, the US is the largest, then EU comes, then China obviously comes. Then So tomorrow, if China overtakes EU, then obviously Chinese, Chinese will have higher weightage in SDR. So the contribution has to be made in SDRs. But SDR is ultimately a basket of this only. Brother. So when, let's say, IMF asks from India, you have to contribute 2 lakh SDRs. 2 lakh SDRs. One fourth I have to contribute in SDRs currencies. One fourth I have to give And three fourths I can contribute in rupees. It will be converted to SDR as per current rate. Samja? Thik hai? Nahi samja? So one fourth I can contribute in forex and SDR currencies. Other currencies also if I have I can give. 3 4 domestic currency. It will be converted to SDR. Thik hai? Now, this quota, this quota, do you think it has to remain static or it has to be reviewed? Size of economy changes. Today we are bigger than what we were in 1944. So, this is reviewed. On paper, every 5 years. Sometimes it is delayed and the decisions are delayed. So, it, it, it can be reviewed in 10 years also. But on paper, it is reviewed every 5 years. Change hota hai every 5 years. Thik hai? Itna samjha? Thik hai? SDR, did you understand SDR? What is today's SDR rate? Let us... Yaar, ye alag hi software chal rahe hai. How to close this? What is 1 SDR equal to? One SDR is about 1.42 dollars. How is it calculated and all? Chhod dosko. It is a weighted average of 5 currencies. So, US dollar is powerful. 1.42 dollars approx. Okay, so, whenever you will give this 2 lakh SDRs in your quota, it will be converted to uh, dollars. It, you can give dollars, you can give this, you can give that. And that SDR will be converted Okay. Now, what is SDR exactly? Is it a currency or is it what? It is a unit of currency. It is not a currency per se. Okay, SDR has certain characteristics. This was created by the IMF in 1969. 
ठीक है इट इज अट ऑफ रिजर्व सी आई आई एक्सप्लेन वाई एस डी आर इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट डॉलर पे सिंगल हैंडेड डिपेंडेंस इज रॉन्ग सी अदर कंट्री सेट की वाई शुड वी कैलकुलेट एवरी थिंग इन डॉलर टूमोरो यूएस इकोनॉमी फेल्स क्या होगा फिर इफ डॉलर वैल्यू गोज डाउन वॉट विल हैपन एवरी वन विल लूज सो दे सेट की राधा देन दैट लेट एस फाइव बिगेस्ट इकोनॉमी लेट एस मेक अ बास्केट ऑफ इट एंड देन मेक अ यूनिट आउट ऑफ इट एंड देन क्रिएट दिस एस डी आर ठीक है इट इज नॉट अ करेंसी नीदर अ क्लेम ऑन आई एम एफ इट इज नॉट अ करेंसी यू कैनॉट यूज इट इन योर कंट्री डू कैन यू यूज एस डी आर इन योर कंट्री इन एनी कंट्री इट कैनॉट बी यूज इट इज नॉट अ करेंसी कैन इट बी एक्सचेंज फॉर नेशनल करेंसी येस इफ इंडिया इज हैविंग हंड्रेड हंड्रेड एस डी आर इट कैन गेट रुपीज फ्रॉम आई एम एफ इट कैन गेट इक्वेलेंट डॉलर फ्रॉम आई एम एफ इट कैन गेट इक्वेलेंट आर एम बीज रेन मीन बीज फ्रॉम आई एम एफ इट कैन बी एक्सचेंज सो इफ आई राइट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स यर इट कैन बी एक्सचेंज फॉर अदर करेंसी येस इज इट अ करेंसी इन इट सेल्फ नो इट इज नॉट अ करेंसी इन इट सेल्फ ठीक है इट कैन बी एक्सचेंज डेफिनेटली इट कैन बी एक्सचेंज राइट इट इज नॉट अ क्लेम ऑन आई एम एफ दिस सेंटेंस इज इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज नीदर अ करेंसी नॉर अ क्लेम ऑन आई एम एफ बट वॉट बट वॉट बट अ पोटेंशियल क्लेम पोटेंशियल क्लेम ऑन अदर करेंसी बिकॉज यू कैन एक्सचेंज इट ठीक है पोटेंशियल क्लेम ऑन यूजेबल करेंसी द वर्ड इज यूजेबल करेंसी सो ये मेन्स के लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है इट्स नॉट यूजफुल फॉर प्रिलियंस बट येस इफ यू नो दिस बाय हार्ट यू विल बी वेरी गुड नीदर अ करेंसी नॉट अ क्लेम ऑन आई एम एफ यू कैनॉट से एच डी आर दो मुझे एच डी आर के बदले गिव मी करेंसीज इक्वेलेंट सो इफ यू टेल वन एच डी आर आई एम एफ विल गिव यू वन पॉइंट फोर टू डॉलर और 1.42 पॉइंट फोर टू डॉलर इक्वेलेंट वर्थ ऑफ रुपीज इफ यू वॉन्ट रुपीज यू कैन टेक रुपीज ठीक है कैन प्राइवेट पीपल होल्ड एस डी आर नो प्राइवेट कैनॉट होल्ड एस डी आर इट इज ओनली हेल्ड बाई गवर्नमेंट एंड ओनली यूज इन आई एम एफ ना सी इट इज अ पेपर विच से यू आर एलिजिबल टू गेट दीज करेंसीज और एनी करेंसी ऑफ योर चर्च बस वो पेपर को एस डी आर बोलते इट इज नॉट यूज एनी वेयर इट कैनॉट बी अ करेंसी इन एनी कंट्री इट इज जस्ट अ पोटेंशियल क्लेम tomorrow if you need potential claim on the currencies on the usable currencies of other current of other countries or of your country also samjha hdr kya hai it is a special drawing rights it is your right it is a paper showing ki you will get money but it is not money in itself samjha if i give you a paper saying ki of 100 uh, paper pe i will write 100 and i will tell you ki any time you come i will give you 5 rupees theek okay? hai so that paper itself is not a currency na no? but any time it is a potential claim you can claim 5 rupees from me and take it away samjha itna theek hai so there are talks now to make sdr a global reserve currency to replace dollar with sdr so most so we hold foreign exchange assets yes or no so i remember in the last bop lecture we did foreign exchange assets kitna proportion i told you more than 70 80 90% is foreign currency assets so in that also we are or all other countries are trying to replace dollars with sdr because i hope you remember sdr also is there imf reserve tranche gold tranche sdr everything is there in the list of foreign currency assets in the list of foreign assets so when we take a list of foreign assets all countries are trying to increase the proportion of hdrs and reduce the proportion of dollars why because they don't want to be dependent on dollars alone but also they are saying ki ek basket rahega to better hoga because if dollar fails there are other countries which which can save the value theek hai remember it's a value na dollar ke hisab se value hota hai everything is there theek hai do you think do you think the subscriptions or the contributions from members is enough for imf to lend to countries which are in need it is never enough theek hai so imf also borrows I am also borrows from countries which are rich in cash. समझ रहे हैं? I am borrows, I am gives them interest in SDRs and all. So that is known as new arrangements to borrow. उसका नाम ही ये है new arrangements to borrow. ठीक है? It is called as new arrangements to borrow. 
सिंपल है ज्यादा कुछ है नहीं ठीक है इन 1991 व्हाट डिड वी डू डिड वी लेंड टू आई एम एफ और बोरोड फ्रॉम आई एम एफ वी बोरोड फ्रॉम आई एम इंडिया इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट कंट्रीब्यूटर्स टू एन ए बी नाउ विच मीन्स इंडिया नाउ लेंड्स टू आई एम एफ समझा दिस इज अ ग्रेट अचीवमेंट ऑफ आर प्लानिंग प्रोसेस एल पी जी रिफॉर्म्स देर वॉज अ टाइम वेर वी बेग आई एम एफ फॉर बोरोइंग लाइक फॉर गिविंग एस फंड नाउ वी आर वन ऑफ द बिग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर्स टू आई एम एफ फंड So India is a big contributor to new arrangements to borrow. Chalo, borrowing, financing, working of IMF done. ठीक है? What about lending? Why do? Oh sorry. Ah, uh, ha. For which purpose does IMF lend? Chalo, tell me. IMF lending is for which purpose? To help countries solve balance of payment crisis. To help countries not to default on their loans. Like in like it was it was helping India in 1991. To help countries to prevent sovereign debt crisis i hope you know sovereign debt crisis uh, default on foreign exchange loans and all theek okay? hai so imf lending facilities always remember always remember they are country specific not project specific which means ki they will not ask india ki balance of payment crisis happened due to what reason which scheme theek okay? hai they will not do that they will give it to the country theek okay? hai so it is country specific I am telling this because World Bank is exactly opposite. Isil I am telling. It is country specific and not World Bank is project specific and not country specific. Country specific and not project specific. So no matter if you are running one scheme or hundred schemes, if you need money, you should need money for overall macroeconomic problems and not for particular projects. Okay. Now there are certain. टूल्स और देर आर सर्टन क्या बोलते विंडोज आई होप यू नो लैफ एम एस एफ दे आर विंडोज फॉर बोरोइंग बाय बैंक सिमिलरली आई एम एफ ऑल्सो एज विंडोज सो कंट्रीज कैन अप्रोच सो वन विंडो इज कॉल्ड एज पॉवर्टी रिडक्शन ग्रोथ फैसिलिटी पी आर जी एफ वन विंडो इज कॉल्ड एज पी आर जी एफ ठीक है पॉवर्टी रिडक्शन ग्रोथ फैसिलिटी ना यू ओनली टेल मी इज दिस फॉर पुअर कंट्रीज और लेस पुअर कंट्रीज नाम से क्या लगता है पुअर कंट्रीज और लेस पुअर कंट्रीज पुअर कंट्रीज ना इट इज फॉर पॉवर्टी रिडक्शन इट इज गिवन फॉर पॉवर्टी रिडक्शन सो लेस पुअर नहीं ना पुअर कंट्रीज विल टेक लोन फ्रॉम यूर एंड हेल्प रिड्यूस पॉवर्टी ना सो दिस इज फॉर लो इनकम कंट्रीज low income countries and it is given at a concessional rate discounted rate of interest i hope you know so normally if i am give, is giving loans at 12% it will give 8% because you are very poor poverty reduction karna hai in your country we want to reduce poverty so take this loan for a lesser amount is this clear poverty reduction growth facility then iske upar there is one more level or uh, you know that is also for low income countries that is also for poor countries only but let's say this is normal for poverty reduction and growth but some countries let's say there is a poor country in pacific ocean and tsunami comes or global warming ki wajah se floods come so that is a shock is yes or no will it economy its economy collapse its economy will collapse so there is one more facility available for poor countries only it is called as esf exogenous shock facility it is called as esf exogenous shock facility see exogenous is external shock something happened war happened or natural calamity happened exogenous shock facility this is also same as this low income and concessional rate of interest because obviously you cannot protect this okay then there are two windows which are non conventional uh non concessional they are applicable for all countries jisko chahiye le lo but they are not uh they are not given at a concession they are not given at a discount one is s b a one is s b a 
standby arrangements all countries normal rate are normal rate not discounted rate and fourth extended fund facility i know this is very 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 based factual hai. extended fund facility ekdam hi factual there is no logic na concept kya hai isme kuch nahi hai extended fund facility so anything imf gives out except prgf and esf is at normal rate ye itna yaad rakho anything theek hai these words are important extended fund facility exogenous this is different hai right? esf and eff these are two different words samjha samjha homework not for now whenever you do only prelim specific study only for prelims specially for prelims you have to find out which reports imf issues homework for prelims you have to find out which reports imf issues and uh, just the name of the report nothing no nothing to be described inside the report nothing to be described ki what is the report about just the name see when you prepare for prelims when you shift to prelims full time jan feb march onwards uh, you will have to manually you will have to do brute force ratta of all the reports of organizations ki imf gives these 10 reports so the names of the reports you have to buy hard then you will get the ready made list from all compilations you will get i mean in delhi everything is available now you don't have to worry about that but in prelims if you want we can have a separate prelims orientation lecture also in jan or feb hai na ki how to exactly use this three months so i always say in that three months you have to buy hard by brute brute force no logic no understanding no concept things which uh which you know only are memory based so i am have gives 10 reports so 10 reports ke naam you have to remember because question comes ki this report is issued by whom i am a world bank bis wto so you have to know ki which organization is issuing which report you have to rent this that is easy marks that is one where your school education will come into picture school mein ratta maar dete you are also you will you know do this right did imf give us loan without saying anything or did imf say something when it gave us loans do you know i use the word conditionalities do you remember theek hai conditionalities what is conditionalities conditions which imf gave us the loan on conditions what was the condition normally open up your economy reduce the interest rate reduce the tax rate banking reforms law uh give power to the third tier of the government these were all the these were all the suggestions given by or these were all the conditionalities imposed by imf now this is not only for india it, whenever it gives loans whenever it gives loans pay attention whenever it gives loans it never gives loans without conditions and that is the single point of debate between the loan taker and the loan giver ki that condition is not suitable for me right imf has a very standard set of conditions ki this should be done foreign exchange should be devalued foreign exchange rate should be floating not fixed and all theek hai these are all i hope you remember fixed rate floating rate so these are all standard conditions but what is the negative aspect of it it is a one size fits all samjha one size fits all policy hai one size fits all ye galat hai na one size fits all kaise hoga all countries history is different culture is different economic policies are different demography is different then conditionalities favor often favor developed nations more often favor developed nations right often favor developed nations theek hai so ye baki next point is the repetition of the first so that is why so these are all problems with imf so if anyone asks you in mains problems with imf these two three points are problems with imf ठीक है डू यू नो आरबीआई पब्लिशेस अ लॉट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डेटा डू यू नो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स पब्लिशेस अ लॉट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डेटा मोस्ट ऑफ द डेटा इज द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द डेटा कि ऐसा होना चाहिए यू शुड पब्लिश सीपीआई यू शुड पब्लिश डब्ल्यू पी आई द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द डेटा इज गिवन बाय आई एम एफ बिकॉज भाई टू एंश्योर की यूनिफॉर्म डेटा हो सारे कंट्रीज का यस और नो 
सो वेन यू आर कंडक्टिंग अ सर्वे यू विल गिव वन सेम फॉर्म टू एवरी वन एंड फिल क्या चाहिए आपको वट डू यू नीड सिमिलरली आई एम ए फास्ट ऑल द कंट्रीज टू फिल इन द इकोनॉमिक डेटा ऑन यूनिफॉर्म बेसिस फॉर्मेट सेम होना चाहिए अदरवाइज वी विल गिव सी पी आई लेट से अमेरिका कैलकुलेट सी पी आई इन डिफरेंट मैनर सो मैच नहीं कर पाएगा आई एम एफ कैनोट एनालाइज रिमेंबर सर्वेलेंस राइट सो दैट इज वाई दे आर इशूड अ सेट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म्स टू आर बी आई एंड टू ऑल सेंट्रल बैंक ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड ये फिल करके दे दो ठीक है दैट वन वर्ड इज इम्पोर्टेंट दैट इज वाई एम सेंग ऑल दिस दैट वन स्टैंडर्ड इज कॉल्ड एज सी द नेम इंग्लिश बस इतना ही इंपॉर्टेंट है एस डी डी एस स्पेशल डेटा डिसमिनेशन स्टैंडर्ड इट इज नथिंग बट अ कॉमन फॉर्मेट गिवन एंड इंडिया हैज सब्सक्राइब टू आई मीन बिकॉज कुछ है नहीं ना देर इज नो हार्म इन दिस इज जस्ट अ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव फॉर्मेलिटी Yes, we will give data to you in the format given by you. We will maintain or will publish the data in the format given by you. Bas, that's it. Special data dissemination standard. Samja? Pura? ठीक है? चल. आई एम एफ डन खत्म वर्ल्ड बैंक दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ऑल्सो दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग आई लाइक दिस आई एम एफ इज वेरी ट्राई दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग हमारा झगड़ा होता रहता है वर्ल्ड बैंक के साथ राइट सो इज वर्ल्ड बैंक अ पार्ट ऑफ ब्रिटेन वुड्स इंस्टीट्यूशन येस और नो येस सो ऑल द हिस्ट्री एंड ऑल सेम है ब्रिटेन वुड्स इंस्टीट्यूशन पोस्ट वॉर येस और नो वॉट इज द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ आई एम एफ टू एंश्योर माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक स्टेबिलिटी येस और नो What is the main objective? What do you think is the main objective? So, for now, we know one organization. Yes or no? IBRD. Do we know about IBRD? We know means that such organization exists. What is the main purpose of IBRD? What is the main purpose of World Bank? जैसे objective है of IMF. What is the main objective? The objective is see this. What is the objective? Three words, post-war reconstruction. So we created a bank which will give loans to countries who are affected by war. Japan, worst affected by war. Various European, East European countries affected by war. So they created a bank. See, IMF is for global economic stability. I told you, IMF does not concern itself with country-specific projects. Projects, nahi hai. It is that country's health is good. Finished. World Bank. is sorry ibrd and world bank same here it is a part is specifically designed to ensure that money reaches war affected countries kya bolte hai isko post war reconstruction post war reconstruction to abhi ho gaya hai because war happened almost uh, 50 years 60 years ago post war reconstruction to ho gaya hai theek hai so is ibrd not in existence ibrd is in existence theek hai second organization is ida we'll speak about them in detail ida third organization is ifc have we heard ifc think challenge hai we have heard ifc chalo main to bol deta hu चैलेंज मैं तो बोल ही देता हूँ इंटरनेशनल फाइनेंस कमिटी ऑब्जेक्टिव इज पोस्ट फॉर रिकंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर ऑलमोस्ट ऑल What do you think? Have we heard masala bonds? Did you know one organization helped in issuing masala bonds? IFC. Remember, I told you what is IFC will do in World Bank chapter IFC. 
ठीक है ना तो की पॉइंट यार व्हेन डेज ब्रिटेन वुड्स इंस्टीट्यूशंस गेट एस्टैब्लिश्ड 45 44 45 45 ऑल दीस ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस आर अ पार्ट ऑफ अ ग्रुप नोन एज अ वर्ल्ड बैंक ग्रुप ठीक है दिस इज अ वर्ल्ड बैंक ग्रुप ओके नाउ की पॉइंट टू नो इज दैट In 1944-45, Bretton Woods in Bre Bretton Woods only these two institutions were formed. These formed later on. So this is normally you. This is normally they are normally called as World Bank. So क्या confuse करें? These two are normally called as World Bank, and the entire this thing is called as World Bank Group. ठीक है? These came much later after these two came. Headquarter कहाँ होगा? What do you think? Washington. Same Washington. यूएसए सेम सेम ठीक है ओके होमवर्क फॉर प्रिलिम्स फॉर प्रिलिम्स वर्ल्ड बैंक रिपोर्ट्स अगेन दिस इज आल्सो एट वॉशिंगटन ठीक है इज इट ओके लेट एस स्पीक अबाउट आई बी आर डी एंड आई डी ए सर वॉट इज आई डी एड टेल एस दैट आई बी आर डी आई हैव टोल्ड इट इज इंटरनेशनल बैंक फॉर रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन एंड डेवलपमेंट हैव वी टोल्ड यस वॉट इज आई डी ए वेरी वेरी इजी आई डी एज इंटरनेशनल development agency simple idea so let me tell you what is the difference between ibrd and idea okay ibrd and idea the nature of these two institutions is that they give loans for uh, development see this is a developmental institution imf is a monetary institution it ensures balance of payment crisis nahi ho raha it does not concern ki aap kitna develop kar rahe ho World Bank gives loans for development. Always remember, World Bank gives loans for development. World Bank wants the world to develop. Okay, and I am talking about the objective. What happens in reality is something different. Okay. Now tell me, would World Bank give loans at high rate of interest or low rate of interest? It is using, it is, uh, it is giving the money for development. So it gives money at low rate of interest, so that countries are able to access it and develop. Okay. What are the Uh, so what do you think which kind of projects does world bank give loans for what do you think and when i speak about world bank i am talking about these two only ha ye to hum baad mein baat karenge what do you think health education solar energy women empowerment roads anything related to development world bank gives loan theek hai do you think rates are small or like rates are discounted or full rates discounted rates they are also called as soft rates सॉफ्ट रेट्स ठीक है सॉफ्ट रेट्स ठीक है सॉफ्ट रेट्स पे लोन देता है बोथ 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 एट सॉफ्ट रेट्स नाउ कम्स द की पार्ट आईडीए गिव्स लोन्स टू पुअरेस्ट ऑफ द पुअर ठीक है एंड आईबीआरडी गिव्स लोन्स टू मिडिल इनकम कंट्री ठीक है नोट इट अच्छा वेन आई सेड 1944-45 में व्हाट वाज क्रिएटेड ओनली आई बी आर डी वॉज क्रिएटेड रिमेंबर आई बी आर डी एंड आई एम एफ टू दिस वॉज क्रिएटेड इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी बट स्टिल दे आर कॉल्ड एज वर्ल्ड बैंक बिकॉज वेन ब्रिटेन वुड इंस्टीट्यूशन वॉज फॉर्म वर्ल्ड बैंक वर्ड नहीं था दैट वॉज द वर्ड विच केम लेटर ऑन द वर्ड वॉज आई बी आर डी सो दिस डिविजन वॉज और दिस इंस्टीट्यूशन वॉज क्रिएटेड इन 44-45, so scheduled in 1960, but both are called as World Bank. This give loans to middle income countries. This give loans to poorest of the poor, but more or less both give for uh, at soft rates. Okay. Now this also gives loan on a very long term basis. Why? Because they are poor countries. Always remember, so they will have very favorable loan terms. Long term loan देता है, and sometimes, sometimes. Even at zero interest, enjoy. 
एंड लॉन्ग टर्म मतलब क्या अप टू फोर्टी फिफ्टी इयर्स पचास साल बाद यू हैव टू रीपे एंड यू नो द कंसेशनल रेट सॉफ्ट रेट्स वी टॉक्ट अबाउट इट इट कैन गो एज लो एज जीरो पॉइंट वन परसेंट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एंड समटाइम्स जीरो इंटरेस्ट ऑल्सो आई बी आर टी ऑल्सो गिव्स एट सॉफ्ट रेट्स बट नॉट एज लो एज आई डी आई बी आर टी ऑल्सो गिव्स लॉन्ग टर्म बट नॉट एज लॉन्ग टर्म एज आई डी ए समझा ठीक है ना वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ये फंड आता कहां से फंड कहां से आता है वॉट डू यू थिंक फंड कहां से आता है वेर डज आई बी आर टी गेट फंड फ्रॉम आई बी आर डी पार्टिसिपेट इन वर्ल्ड फाइनेंशियल मार्केट शेयर मार्केट वर्ल्ड लेवल इंटरनेशनल मार्केट सो आई बी आर डी इज लाइक अ पर्सन हु इज इन्वेस्टिंग इन बोरोइंग सो आई बी आर डी गेट्स फंड फ्रॉम फाइनेंशियल मार्केट सी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज देर ऑफ एवरी कंट्री बट वो बहुत लेस है द अमाउंट ऑफ लोन सी आई एम एफ गिव लोन ओनली वेन देर इज अपी क्राइसिस अदरवाइज इट डजेंट बट दे हैव टू गिव लोन कॉन्स्टेंटली बिकॉज डेवलपमेंट इज हैपनिंग एवरी वेयर सो फंड फ्रॉम फाइनेंशियल मार्केट ठीक है फंड नाउ सी दिस इंटरेस्टिंग फंड ये कहां से लाता है आईडीए फ्रॉम कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन फ्रॉम रिच कंट्रीज बिकॉज पुअरेस्ट ऑफ पुअर है फाइनेंशियल मार्केट विल नॉट गिव लोन इफ यू आर गिविंग द सेम एट जीरो इंटरेस्ट तो दे आर यूजिंग फंड फ्रॉम फाइनेंशियल मार्केट दे आर यूजिंग फंड फ्रॉम कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन फ्रॉम कंट्रीज is this clear is this very 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 clear theek hai can a country be eligible for both loan from ibrd and ida see there are criteria criteria hai so for example middle income hai but uh, inequality is too high so it might fall under ida also so those countries which are eligible for both ibrd and ida are known as blend countries blend and mix hai i'll write here yes. chhota hai but important hai blend countries bolte hain usko theek hai right india has taken lot of loans from ida and ibrd so now now ida will give india a loan or ibrd now currently ibrd thode to izzat hai hamari right theek hai these two are done ibrd done ida done now comes ifc see social aspect abhi I told you these gives for project for projects specific loans है ना उसमें project specific नहीं था country specific था this is for project specific loans is this clear next IFC very quickly we'll complete this chapter within next ten fifteen minutes IFC का full form is International Financial Corporation International Financial Corporation is it a part of World Bank Group? Yes, it is a part of World Bank Group. Okay, I'll write the objective, main objective, why this was created. See this. promotes private sector development in uh, private sector investment in developing countries think masala bonds and you will get what i am telling masala bonds was india was helped by ifc in raising masala bonds yes or no 
Did I tell you last time when we were discussing masala bonds, the format was designed by IFC. Anyone who wants to issue masala bonds, who issues masala bonds, Indians or Bahar wale? Indians, is it denominated in rupees or dollars? Rupees, I hope you remember. Is it issued in India or outside India? Outside India. Currency risk remains with Indian companies or foreign lenders? Foreign lenders. That is the main purpose of masala bond. IFC facilitated all that for India. So, is it not that IFC promoted private sector investment in developing countries? Example masala bonds. I will write example masala bonds. So, that it is easy for you to remember. Okay? So, abhi, see, World Bank ke -like divisions are working. ID, IBRD, ID are giving loans to those people who are desperately in need. Once you have something settled, uske aage, how do you grow further? By private sector investment. But why will private sector in invest in your country when you are stable? So, IBRD, ID have done that. Now, IFC will help you. IFC will uh, enable you to meet investors. And IFC will ki ye India hai, this is India, it's a good country, we have stabilized it, please invest here, yes or no. This is IFC. Did you understand what IFC does? It promotes private sector investment in developing countries. Okay? India is a founder member. Sub jage na? India is a founder member. And it, it, uh, now, where does IFC get money from? Financial markets. IFC is also investing and borrowing from financial markets. So, IFC raises money from financial markets. That is one. And secondly, IFC also raises money from financial markets. And secondly, India is the single largest receiver of funds from IFC related enable. India bought it. We get a lot of funds. Okay, so IFC helps us a lot. That is very important. Okay. We speak about the next MIGA. M I G A Mega. See the English, you will come to know. Achha. When IFC promoted the investment, private sector investment in developing countries, Mega, what it does is it protects that investment. Multilateral investment multilateral. Investment guarantee agency. Guarantee is the keyword here. See, no need to differentiate exactly what is it. You just have to know that MIGA is a part of World Bank Group and MIGA promotes FDI in member countries. One very important thing India can or any country can be a member of IBRD, ID and not be a member of IFC MIGA also. So, selective membership, very selective. Okay. Mega. Mega promotes FDI. That's it. Is India a member? Yes. Okay, India is a member. Last ICSID. International Center for Settlement of See this. You remember bilateral investment treaty we have just done in the last lecture that that private person or that foreigner was threatening us to take to global court international center for settlement of investment disputes. International center for center for settlement of industry investment disputes. Okay. Is it clear? ICSID. Now, funny part is Samja India is not a member. So, India is a member of all other four 
ID, what are the what what are the ones? IBRD, IDA, IFC, MIGA, and this. ये पांच हैं. But out of that, the first four में India is a member. And uh, why India is not a member? Because you also know because of BIT issues. ठीक है? So India is a member. Yes. 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 India is a member. No. Is this clear? Simple है, factual है, भी क्या? इसमें there is no logic, there is no concept in this. ठीक है? What are the differences between IMF and World Bank? See, very simple. IMF is single organization. World Bank is a group of five organizations. Second, this you will find in books. I am not writing. Second, IMF's objective is macroeconomic stability, and World Bank group's objective is development. Third, uh, IMF gives loans for balance of payment crisis, but World Bank gives loans for long projects. And fourth, IMF has quota system. They don't have quota system. They borrow money from markets. Yes or no? World Bank is a bank. It trades in market. ठीक है एंड वर्ल्ड बैंक ग्रुप आल्सो हैज मीगा एंड आईसीएसआईडी नाउ आई विल टेल यू वन स्टेटमेंट व्हिच इज प्रोबेब्ली द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वन इन ऑर्डर टू बिकम अ मेंबर ऑफ वर्ल्ड बैंक ग्रुप वन हैज टू बी अ मेंबर ऑफ आईएमएफ दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेटमेंट इफ यू आर नॉट अ मेंबर ऑफ आईएमएफ यू कैन नॉट बिकम अ मेंबर ऑफ वर्ल्ड बैंक ठीक है Is it okay? So I will write in order to become member of World Bank Group. Members, this is exactly how you don't have to write in notes. Pura sentence kabi nahi likhna. I am just writing it down. In order to become member of World Bank Group, membership of IMF compulsory. ठीक है सर नोट्स कैसे बनाते हैं इसके इन दिस सेंटेंस सी दिस नोट्स मेंबरशिप आई एम एफ फर्स्ट मेंबरशिप वर्ल्ड बैंक ग्रुप खत्म समझा दिस इज द शॉर्ट वर्जन ऑफ दिस In order to become member of World Bank Group, membership of IMF compulsory. Is this clear? Is this understood? It's very simple, यार कुछ है नहीं इसमें. IMF is headed by a managing director. World Bank is headed by a president. नाम अलग-अलग हैं. ठीक है नाउ व्हाट व्हाट आर द मेजर रिफॉर्म्स रिक्वायर्ड इन ब्रिटेन वुड इंस्टीट्यूशन एज अ होल आई एम एफ वर्ल्ड बैंक वन इज डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज डोंट गेट देयर वॉइस हर्ड सेकंड यू नो दैट वोटिंग डिपेंड्स ऑन द कैपिटल और वोटिंग डिपेंड्स ऑन द कोटा और वोटिंग डिपेंड्स ऑन द अमाउंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड तो दैट हैज टू चेंज थर्डली ऑलमोस्ट ऑलवेज द मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ आई एम एफ और प्रेसिडेंट हैज बीन many times has been some european or american so we need indian also to head these organizations theek okay, hai these are all small small reforms which are required now i will tell you about some other international organizations you only have to remember the name the objective and the location the headquarters why because prelims mein these organizations are asked right so we will cover these organizations very quickly we will cover theek okay, hai the first organization i want to cover is fatf What is FATF, sir? Financial Action Task Force. Financial Action Task Force. FATF. ठीक है? Financial Action Task Force. Right? क्या नाम है? Financial Action Task Force. It is set up solely with the objective of preventing money laundering and financing of terrorism. So. Prevention, so anti-money laundering, anti-money laundering, 
एंड टेररिज्म फाइनेंसिंग ठीक है बस इतना ही इंपॉर्टेंट है If it finds any organization or sorry, if it finds any country is engaged in financing of terrorists, it will put sanctions on the country. कुछ करेगा नहीं penalty and all नहीं डालेगा. But if if a country has put if a country has been put on put sanctions by FATF, other countries don't trade with that country. Example, Iran, Pakistan. Don't trade means they reduce their trade. It has lists. It has list. Grey list, black black list and all. Black list means. कि दैट कंट्री इज नॉट ट्रांसपेरेंट विद इट्स फाइनेंसिस वी डोंट नो व्हाट इट इज डूइंग एंड दैट कंट्री मतलब एफ एटीएफ टेल्स ऑल अदर कंट्रीज की ट्रेड विद दैट कंट्री ऑन योर ओन रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सी नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू डील विद अ टेररिस्ट कंट्री राइट आई गिव यू एग्जाम्पल पाकिस्तान पाकिस्तान इज ऑन द ग्रे लिस्ट ग्रे मतलब ऑलमोस्ट खत्म हो गया ग्रे लिस्ट विच मीन्स वॉचिंग सो इफ पाकिस्तान इज ऑन द ग्रे लिस्ट इट सेंड्स अ सिग्नल टू मार्केट दैट प्लीज डोंट इन्वेस्ट इन पाकिस्तान इट इज एंगेज इन फाइनेंसिंग टेररिस्ट पाकिस्तान का एफ डी आई कम हो जाता है एंड देन पाकिस्तान डजेंट गेट मनी डू रियलाइज हाउ इम्पोर्टेंट एफ ए टी एफ इज ठीक है नाउ दिस एफ ए टी एफ का हेडक्वार्टर्स का हेडक्वार्टर्स इज इन कहा होगा पैरिस ठीक है हेडक्वार्टर्स इज इन पैरिस ओके फाइनेंशियल एक्शन टास्क फोर्स सेकेंड देर आर टू banks which i want you to know about two banks adb kya hai adb asian development bank this is a bank which gives money for projects in mainly asian countries sir are the members of adb only asian countries no they have america they have european countries also as members but this is called asian development bank kitna samjha asian development bank हेडक्वार्टर्स मनीला फिलीपींस कैपिटल इज मनीला फिलीपींस में है बस दैट्स इट एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक राइट सो जापान यूएसए चाइना इंडिया एवरी वन इज अ मेंबर ऑफ एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग इन प्रिलिम्स थर्ड सो एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक इज अ वेरी ओल्ड बैंक ए आई बी एज रिसेंटली कम 10-15 इयर्स अगो एशियन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक ऐसे बहुत है देर मेनी वन आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग द इंपॉर्टेंट वन एशियन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक ए आई आई बी ठीक है वॉट वॉट ए आई आई बी डज इज नाम में लिखा है इट प्रोवाइड सो विल इट प्रोवाइड लॉन्ग टर्म लोन्स और शॉर्ट टर्म लोन्स लॉन्ग टर्म लोन्स वेरी गुड है ना AIB headquarters Beijing China ठीक है एशियन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक इंडिया इज द फोर्थ और फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट शेयर होल्डर इन AIB एशियन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक सी यू हैव टू रीड अबाउट देम इन डिटेल आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू अ ब्रीफ हिस्ट्री इफ वी स्पीक अबाउट दिस फॉर 15 20 मिनट्स तो तो पूरा चार दिन इसी में चला जाएगा ठीक है ADB, AIB के भी रिपोर्ट्स यू हैव टू नो फॉर योर प्रिलिम्स एग्जाम सो ऑल दीज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन गिव रिपोर्ट बट यूल गेट द लिस्ट ठीक है EBRD, सर क्या लिखते हो pen is very fluid european bank for reconstruction and development european bank he mainly lends to european countries also lends to other countries india became a member in 2018 india became so i am giving the highlights ha huh? india became a member in 2018 similarly there is something called as ecb What is ECB? European Central Bank, EU का रिजर्व बैंक European Central Bank. ठीक है दीज आर द बैंक और दीज आर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच यू शुड बी अवेयर अबाउट ई सी बी इसका हेडक्वार्टर्स कहा है ईबीआरडी का हेडक्वार्टर्स इज इन 
लंडन ईसीबी का इज इन जर्मनी फ्रैंकफर्ट में है जर्मनी ठीक है सिक्स आई होप यू रिकॉल दिस ओएसीडी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर इकोनॉमिक कोऑपरेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ओएसीडी का हेडक्वार्टर कहा है पेरिस ठीक है देर इज एन इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देर इज एन इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अ ग्रुपिंग ऑफ इंटरनेशनल कंट्रीज ऑफ लाइक माइंडेड कंट्रीज in economic terms and ir international relations terms you will read about this in ir so i am just mentioning it there are five countries earlier there were four now there are five countries called brazil russia india china south africa brics it is called as brics it is a grouping see now you you must have you must uh, you must not have heard about it so this will make them basics i am telling you but this is very basic what i am telling you brics countries it is an international grouping which meets once a year they discuss ki what should be the policies for international cooperation that's it so they they will have economic cooperation they will have social cooperation they will have political cooperation they will have um, cultural cooperation etc so many things will have uh, they will have theek okay? hai so which are the four and five countries which i told you about i am not writing the full form here you have to remember this now only brazil russia india China, South Africa, BRICS. It is known as BRICS. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Samjha? Or why these five countries? Because these five countries are uh, same in their economic trajectory, similar level of development. Hey, all these countries. If you think that Russia and South Africa are more developed than India, then you are wrong. There is lot of uh, under development there also. So we are more or less comparable. Ha. Huh. now china is less and less with us and more and more on the higher side because now it challenges us directly but when when this was formed maybe china russia brazil india were almost same south africa joined later on okay do this in ir i don't want to get into ir because uska bhi history hai ki who met and uska president ne phone karke bola tha all this there is a very nice story to it but i am not getting there so brics also was established long back but in 2014 they established their own bank called brics bank and that bank is called as new development bank that bank is called as ndb okay new development bank ndb this was established in 2014 there is a upsc question in ir prelims but we don't see it in economics because it is international relations in 2015 paper theek okay? hai so brics met so they meet once a year in in all these countries so sometimes they will meet in brazil sometimes in india etc etc so they met in brazil in 2014 in a city called as fortaleza and they signed an agreement so they signed a declaration ki we will establish a new development bank what will be the objective of the bank what do you think to help each other na no, na no, brics countries had to help each other theek okay? hai so that organization was established wide the Uh, we did the fortaleza declaration of 2014 of brics that is called a new development banks now this iska headquarter is in kaha hoga somewhere in these countries please do not confuse in shanghai and beijing dono china mein hai but cities are different and these are major cities shanghai and beijing so one way you can think or you not to be confused with this ki for china china is not considering brics as important because china is much beyond brics now but china considers aiib important because there are big people here aiib mein hence the headquarters is in beijing its capital and not in shanghai so shanghai is a major city but not its capital so theek hai isko de diya brics ko but major capital is like capital is beijing so major bank is aiib is this clear With that, we also conclude Bretton Woods Institutions chapter. Okay, I want to start infrastructure as far as possible, but infrastructure is also very small. See, this is my honest observation on infrastructure: is it is so easy if I tell you that the coal production is reduced because two reasons. It is that easy. 
so we will not put much time in infrastructure because the discussion is very it is like this mai aisa aisa batate jaunga it is very boring but i would give you sources to read you have to read those sources you have to get those points whenever we do infrastructure tabhi i will tell theek hai probably in the next lecture we will start or uske baad next to next lecture because i have small small topics planning poverty employment lpg these are the three four small topics which remain i plan to cover one of like each one of them in half an hour half an hour ka gaps theek hai so with this we also complete our last pillar of economics wto and international institutions so our economics is in substance over theek hai did you see that mcqs are asked on these topics only when i show you wto based mcqs you will be able to answer almost all of them theek hai they they are very easy that is one second most important part most important part is you have to do a lot of reading for infrastructure and agriculture reason being they are current based we cannot do abhi ka current yes or no whatever will happen in future you will have to do it theek hai and they are easy trust me don't worry about them they are very easy we'll discuss the concepts yes 10th point investment model for that you will require my absolute help wo to hai hi but for example there is a syllabus point in infrastructure called as railways so there are basic stats about railways kitna railway hai india mein and all of that is given in ncert don't you think especially geography ncert human geography ncert cover from there we might not be able to cover everything but wherever my intervention is required i am there investment model pura pura topic my intervention is required so we will give more time to that theek hai same goes with agriculture i will tell you a lot things lot of things about agriculture but trust me when i say this half agriculture or more than half agriculture is in geography geography mein bhi abhi agriculture hi chal raha hai i think soils weather cropping patterns and all gs3 talks about the economics of agriculture so we'll discuss ki whether this crop is profitable or whether this is profitable or not what whether it requires for this crop not our concern we are in economics theek hai so pay pay close attention to these things and i hope you have enjoyed this uh, lessons economics is more or less over we'll continue with some residual topics and we we'll start with agriculture theek okay? hai after infrastructure we'll start with agriculture thank you so much and uh, i'll see you in the next lecture